In this video, we're going to try to recreate the new YouTube Shorts logo in Photoshop. And this is coming up. All right, so let's quickly jump into Photoshop. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new document. So we're going to file new and then we're going to create something very simple. Now, I'll go ahead and I'm going to create a 1920 by 1080 pixels and then I'll go ahead and click on create. Now, once we have our project, we then go ahead to the shape tool and then we are going to choose the rounded rectangle over here. Now, once you get that, you make sure that you have your radius set to a radius that is going to give you something curvy like this one. You realize that if I have my radius to be around somewhere like 100 like this, this is how it is going to look like. It is not going to give us that very sharp curve. So we try to make our radius something very high. You can go for 500 or even 600 and then it is going to give you something like this because that is what we're going to literally use. Now once you've gotten that. If you know the exact sizes that you're going to use you're just going to left click to input in your rounded rectangle for instance in this case i want to create something like 535 by 250 so something like 535 by 250 that is the size that i'm going to use but of course if you don't know you can just go ahead and make use of anything so it is going to create something like this for you and then you can go ahead and double click on the layer thumbnail here and you can go ahead and change the color to any color that you want of course in this case we're going to use red because red is the color for youtube now if you don't know the size what you're going to do is you're going to pick the rounded rectangle like this and then you're going to try to create something up to the point that you actually want it so it all depends if it is a new logo that you are working on you have to come out with the pixels yourself but in this case it has already been created so we know it so let's continue now once we've gotten this we need to rotate it to the size of the shot so we're going to press ctrl t to activate the transformation controls now when you head over here you see this rotate button and then you're going to try to rotate it something like this so you see if you drag it to the left side it rotate to the left and then if you drag it to the right it rotates to the right so what we're going to do is we're going to just punch in a figure here and then see where it actually rotates to so this is where it's gotten to now let's go a little bit forward and see 120 okay let's go some more 150 and i think this is getting close let's add some five more so 155 looks good now let's try to position it over here we press ctrl j to make a duplicate we're going to hold shift and then drag it just right underneath of the first one that we created so something like this are we almost getting to that point now we're going to hold ctrl and select the two rounded rectangles press ctrl g and then we're going to group it we press ctrl a and then we make sure that we center it both horizontally and vertically and then we will go ahead to the shapes again and then we are going to pick the rectangle now we go ahead and hold shift to create a perfect rectangle like this it creates the rectangle for us we're going to double click on it and then we are going to change the color to white we click on ok and then we choose our move to press ctrl t right click and then we are going to rotate it clockwise to the right side now we take this rectangle and then we position it in the middle it looks very big so we're just going to try to transform it to be a little bit bigger and then with the help of your alignment you're going to see that this is in the middle once you have all of these in place you're going to drag the rectangle inside of the group that you created and then you're going to press ctrl a to select all of them and then you position it in the middle and that's it the youtube shorts logo recreated so this is the original logo and this is the recreated I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial let me know in the comment section if you'd want to see more of such videos and let me know your thoughts in the comment section how close did we get to making or recreating this particular logo let me know also in the comment section which brand's logo you'd want it to be recreated in photoshop thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here bye